fresh out the bed and man I had to you know talk to y'all and let y'all know what's happening this week so you know it is easy to say no to something when it's not there and what I mean by that is I have been in this town come next week five months no men have seriously stepped to me like for real for real like I get uh, middle eastern middle aged old men come to me quite frequently I think it's comical I don't take it seriously um, but nobody's seriously stepping to me nope not even the brothers I don't know what it is not only that but maybe it's because where I live and I'm not sure how the Japanese checking me out over here in little Tokyo but when I tell you all I need to do was check my look in to get the AC fixed this week and um, the guy uh, over the phone that I you know, booked it whatever uh, I could feel the vibe on the phone or whatever but I totally glossed over it I was like I ain't got time for that and um, but when I dropped my car off in the morning because they were going to drive me to work and work on my car strong with it I'm talking about why he was dropping me to work he said that when I uh, booked it booked the appointment or whatever that he went and Facebooked me and he commented on my pictures and I said you ain't Facebook me he mentioned my stage name and was able to see my pictures now unbeknownst to me I thought I had privacy settings on there so that the public anybody who was not a follower of my, uh, my private page can I see my stuff which I found out is not true so this is a blessing for this guy so homeboy was really able to see my pictures. He really did go and check out my stuff on Facebook. Um, but not only that, so then um, it wasn't confirmed that he would come and pick me up or whatever from work. And I was set to go uh, take the bus back to the auto shop because the time I got off work and they were, they were going to be closed. So park that. Actually started texting me throughout the day at work, and I ignored those texts. When he called me from the business line, let me know my car was good and to charge me for the services. Cool, but uh, he was um, first of all, he was a brother from another persuasion. He was a man of color. He's very attractive. He's a little bit older than I was, and um, vocal about his attraction and wanting to go out with me today. And um, he surprised me by showing up at my job like uh, an hour before I got off work. And I didn't even know it. I was in an hour-long conversation with my manager before I got off and hadn't even seen him blowing up my phone. And um, I was just like, oh, my stars. So it's, it was so much going on, a lot of details. All I know is, like, there was still this part of me that uh, didn't want that was uh, that liked the attention I, it's been so long since somebody really really came that hard like for real for real and that I was attracted to let me say that like in, in that way that if I wasn't in the, the very focused place that I'm in I would seriously consider and that's what's bothering me <laughs> I had to remember that I am yet a woman still and um, but the ability to say no when there's really something to say yes or no to that is a real the real test and um, I was having this conversation with my 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 girl yesterday and um, we talked about patterns like this is somebody who truly knows me and I was thinking about the fact that um, exactly two months from now I'll be having another birthday it'll be another cycle of life and it's always around this time that I really go really really inward reflective and um, I 
um, it may be um, a company with a fast, um, a logging off maybe for media. It's, it's just a time I really, really like to unplug. And um, in, in the last few years, unfortunately, um, I have not been as disciplined at those times. Um, I have um, allowed myself to uh, go backwards and hook up with guys um, uh, from my past. Like they, it was around this time, the same time that I, I went, you know, I just just went totally backwards, possibly um, postponing, delaying my destiny in a lot of ways. And um, and I, I looked at that pattern. I said, right when uh, I'm on the focus, I'm on the plan, uh, and, and now <laughs> the enemy knows what I like. He doesn't send obvious stuff, you know. And so um, the ability to say no, even when good ones, really, really, really good ones, step to me, that's difficult. <laughs> um, but you know to acknowledge that is step one in my recovery if you will uh, and what are you this i guess at the end of this video i'm gonna just throw this nugget out there what are you willing to um, give up and sacrifice briefly now let's be clear yes i do want love yes i do want to be married again for the very last time and I desire to be a mother. I have a lot of aspirations at this age, right? Um, but right now, like, he wants to see me today. I'd rather be writing. I need to be writing. Um, interestingly enough, I was just thinking, having a very deep thinking and, and a revelation and a reminder about where I was in terms of relationships. And it was just... The day before he stepped to me, before I even knew he was thinking of me and all this old nonsense, I was thinking how I wasn't ready for love. I'm not. Not the love that I want. Uh, not the relationship that I want. Which requires me to be all in to invest the time and the mental and spiritual place. I don't think that I'm ready for that. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel like I want to invest in a man right now in that aspect. I don't. Um, and that's not fair. Now, if you at a certain place in your life where you don't mind, uh, you know, because I, I used to be there. But if you're at a certain place in your life and you, you're not living like I'm trying to live. I'm trying to live for real, for real, saved. And, 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 and focused. Anybody that's um, that I would spend any kind of amount of time with would be a waste of time. It would be a waste of time. I might want to have sex with you. It's not going to happen. If you're okay with being friends, which most time when they go out with me, then there is not just friends. Uh, you know, we are meant, if you are, you identify yourself as a heterosexual human being. <clears throat> Attraction grows the more time you spend with somebody or whatever, and um, and it doesn't take long for that on either sides. And um, I, just knowing the way I am going in, I don't think it's better than. But at the same time, I don't want to waste my damn time. I just don't. And um, it's just the me being really, really honest with it. Because when I do open up myself to invest myself in love for real, for real, the right way. It's with the goal of marriage. And so I'll be entertaining people, um, you know, prospects with the idea from the onset. Could this be the will of God for us to be together? And if, if I don't get a, a unction in that, then I won't go out with you a second or a third time or whatever. I just, I won't. It'll be a very real conversation. And it won't be no love loss. Ain't no spiritual soul dies, nothing like that. Uh, but that's where I'm at. It's not easy being single a lot of the time. It's not, you know, I still have um, the same urges and needs as anyone else, and um, I cannot do it without God's grace. Um, yeah, so just 
this. I, I'm looking at this 10 minutes in, and if you watched it this far, God bless you. Um, <laughs> this is just from my heart. All right, yeah. Rambling. You can share your thoughts. That's it.